hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to solve the square one. This square one is another puzzle that people know. This puzzle is like the 3x3, but it can only turn horizontally once. Without further else to say, let's start the video. To solve the square one, there are three steps. These steps are cube shape, where you make, make the puzzle into a cube, solving the top faces, and finally permuting the edges so that there are, there are the proper colors. Before we start to solve the cube, it's important that we learn cube notation for the square one so that you can properly do algorithms. There are three main parts in square one notation and algorithms. The slash sign, meaning to turn the cube like this. For the numbers in the brackets, this means to turn the top layer and the bottom layer. A positive number means to turn clockwise and negative means to turn counterclockwise. The number in the front means to move the top bottom to the top layer and the number last means to move the bottom layer. Keep in mind that clockwise for the top is to the right and for the bottom it is to the left. Similarly, negative for the top is to the left and to the bottom it is, it is to the right. For example, the algorithm slash 2 comma 2 is like this. Doing the slash first and then turning the top twice to the right and the bottom twice to the left. Now that we know how to do notation, we can start solving the cube. First, let's learn how to turn the puzzle back to a cube. What you want to do is group all these edge pieces together. They look like this. You should put them together to the point where they make this shape with eight edges in two corners. Now split the shape in the middle and you get a shape known as a scallop. You should also get this shape at, at the bottom of the cube too. Then if you split that like this, you get a barrel. Now if you split the barrel like this, 90 degrees from each other, you get a kite. And finally, putting the kite together gives you the cube shape. When doing the edges, you might get into some places where you can get stuck. For example, if you have an L shape with the edges like I've shown you here, then all you have to do is to move out two pairs of solved edges, then move the, move the two pairs of edges out so when you move them back up, they connect to the, to the edge piece. After doing that, put the, put the two last pieces back in. Since they're aligned, when you move them in, they should fit in properly and you can get eight edges and two corners. Now that we have done the first step, we can move on to solving the white and yellow faces. To do this, without changing the shape of the cube, you can misalign the top or bottom by one and, and do a slice to keep the whole shape in a cube form. The equator is easily fixable with slash six, comma zero slash six comma zero and finally slash now you can move around the cube faces until you end up getting all the colors on the top to split the process up you can start by doing all the corners on one side and then you can do the algorithm that moves the bottom edge to the top so basically you start with the corners and then move on to the edges after doing all the e after doing all the corners we can do this algorithm this algorithm will swap the bottom front edge to the top back edge. The algorithm is 0 comma negative 1 slash negative 3 comma 0 slash 4 comma 1 slash and then at the next few moves it's basically palindromic meaning that it's opposite. So it's slash negative 4 comma negative 1 slash 3 comma 0 slash 0 comma 1. You can keep doing that algorithm with other edge pieces until you get the top and bottom all the same color. Also, if you have two misplaced edges like this, you can do this algorithm to replace them instead of doing the other algorithm I showed you before twice. 
This algorithm is quicker and you can do the second step a bit faster. The algorithm is 0 comma negative 1 slash 1 comma 1 slash negative 1 comma 0. Now that we have done step 2, we can move on to the final step which is permuting the edges so that the proper edge color is displayed. To do step 3, there are two parts. The first part is doing the corners and then finally the edges. First for edges, there are three possible cases. For each case, there is a different algorithm. First, you can have diagonal edges on the top and bottom. Before the algorithm, before we do the algorithms, we should know how to spot which, if a layer is diagonal or adjacent. When you look at a layer, if all corner colors are different, then that means the edge is diagonal. And if you see one set of the same colors on a layer, that means the layer is adjacent. Now we can continue the algorithm. The algorithm for diagonal edges on the top and bottom is slash 3 comma negative 3 slash negative 3 comma 3. Next is the adjacent diagonal algorithm. Before you start this algorithm, make sure to put your headlights to the left. Do the three moves depending on which layer has the headlights. If it's on the top, then do the three moves on the top, and if it's on the bottom, then do the three moves on the bottom. The algorithm for this is slash 3 comma 0 slash negative 3 comma 0 slash 3 comma 0 and finally slash negative 3 comma 0. Next, you can have adjacent and adjacent, meaning that you have headlights on both top and bottom. Make sure to put your headlights in the back and the alg for this is slash negative 3 comma 0 slash 3 comma 3 slash 0 comma 3 and finally slash. Finally, you can have adjacent solved edges and diagonal solved edges. Before you start the algorithm for adjacent solved edges, make sure your headlights are in the back. The algorithm for this is slash three comma negative three slash three comma zero slash negative three comma zero slash zero comma three slash zero slash negative three comma zero and finally a slash to finish it off. For diagonal solved, you have to do slash three comma three, slash three comma zero, slash three comma three, slash three comma zero, slash three comma three, and finally a slash to finish it off. For edges, we basically have one main algorithm that will swap edges until we have a solved square one. The algorithm will swap the top two edges here and the bottom two edges over here. Using that, we can solve the square one. While you're solving the edges, we can come across a few parodies. There are a total of three here and I'll be showing you how to solve them. If you have two opposite switched corners on the top and the bottom, then you line up the edges like this and do the following algorithm. 0, 1, comma, 0, slash, negative 1, comma, negative 1, slash, 0, comma, 1, slash, 6, comma, 0, slash, 1, comma, 0, slash, negative 1, comma, negative 1, slash, 1, comma, 0, and that's it. Next if, you, next, if your equator sides are swapped like this, then do this algorithm. This algorithm will, will flip both top and bottom edges so that, your sol so that your cube will be fully solved. The algorithm is slash 6 comma 6 on both sides, and then finally slash. Finally, if you have two swapped corners on one layer, do this long algorithm. Slash negative three comma zero slash zero comma three slash 
slash 0 comma negative 3 slash 0 comma 3 slash 2, 2 comma 0 slash 0 comma 2 slash negative 2 comma 0 slash 4 comma 0 slash 0 comma negative 2 slash 0 comma 2 slash negative 1 comma 4 slash 0 comma 0 comma negative 3 slash and finally 0 comma 3. Now I've shown you how to solve the square one. If you guys like the content I make here on this channel, then please consider subscribing, liking, and turning on notifications. Also, make sure to comment down below your thoughts on this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!